Hey everybody, Justin here from Cardboard in the Rough. We're trying something a little different today. We solved two puzzles, number 19, the sun, and number eight, strength. But instead of having the whole video walk through solving those problems, we're just gonna give you the summary of how we came to the solutions. So leave us a comment, leave us a like if you appreciate the change. Uh, or let us know why not. Uh, without further ado, here's our summary. Okay, so today we did um, the strength card and the sun card. And in terms of the puzzles, um, they were both varying difficulties. They each had a lot of cards, which made it a little bit harder um, than some of your more simple puzzles. So for the sun here, the way that we solved it, um, first based off of the prompt we went ahead and put it in um, shadow order, if you will, all the way around the sun. And then we looked at the beginning word which was P, also based off of the prompt. Yes, yeah, from the wisdom. From the, the wisdom. Um, and then we followed the order of the sundials and kind of referenced back between the letters and the uh, symbols, which ended up giving us possibilities. Yep, which you, ended, you solved slightly before we figured that part out anyway, but <laughs> um, yeah, to be a little more specific, so this one... Um, P is the start, and then it points to X. So if you look on the sundial, there's an X here. With it. And it points in this direction, so you go to this monument, which is an O. And it has this sort of sideways hourglass symbol. So you look on the sundial, points you up, takes you to this one, which is an S, and then you take this first one, um, which is this the one, same. again, the same one, so you get a second S. Then you look at this next monument here, and you just follow back until you get possibilities. So, I liked that puzzle. I did too. I, I liked that one more than uh, strength. Yes. Okay, so now on to the strength puzzle. Um, let's see. We'd had, according to the intro, it said first use the um, one through three cards here, ace through three, to figure out the direction that you're going to be, or the cards you're going to be starting with. Because the, the fruit on this one, it uses a lot of cards. So part of the puzzle was figuring out which of the cards you even need to be using. Yes. And I'm glad it narrowed it down. Yeah. Because <laughs> it would have been, uh, been a lot of cards. So using the three cards, we looked at these diamonds here on the swords. And we used the literal direction of the swords to find our numbers. So, for example, four diagonally. We went one, two, three, four. Made that a number, wrote that down, and then kept going based off of the other number of diamonds and directions of the swords to find our cards that we ended up using, which were four, six, seven, eight... 10 and 12. And ultimately, the way we solved it is um, really the swords looked like letters. So S is the most obvious one, and then V. Um, this is an R. So we did that, and then in order to figure out the direction, the wisdom helped us identify that we should be using a strong grip a strong grip so we looked at the grips and uh, it's really hard to tell on this one but um, there's a circular grip which has one side and then so that would go first that would go first and then there's an E that has a two-sided grip so we just kept going in that order until we figured out it was Resolve. Yeah, I was a bit thrown off at first because there's two E's on this one. 
and I did not notice that they have different numbers of sides on the grips because we weren't looking at the grips at first. So this top E has two uh, sides on the grip and this bottom one has seven. But so that's how we saw those. A, yeah, so there's a summary for, for both of those. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for um, playing along with us as we puzzled through these two puzzles. Yeah, thanks. This and has been Cardboard in the Rough. I'm Justin. And I'm Corey. We'll see you next time.